Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be commenting on a TikTok video from earlier in the month by a nursing student called Lauren from Australia. In the TikTok video, Lauren is basically encouraging Apple Watch owners to enable heart rate notifications on their smartwatches, as well as notifications for irregular rhythms and cardio fitness levels. In Lauren's case, not having these notifications enabled actually had serious consequences because her smartwatch had picked up on a symptom of a thyroid condition as far back as October. So her smartwatch had actually picked up on a significant drop in her heart rate, but she didn't know because at the time she didn't have symptoms and she didn't have the notifications enabled. So she didn't go to the doctor for months. And by then, of course, things had gotten a lot worse. As someone living with a thyroid condition, so I have Graves' disease, I'm actually really happy that Lauren made this video. And while I don't currently own an Apple Watch or any smartwatch for that matter, it's definitely something I'm considering after watching her TikTok video. In my case, I didn't get diagnosed with Graves' disease until the end of July 2020. Yes, I think I have the date correct, by the way. I have a video about my Graves' disease story and how I got diagnosed and the symptoms I had. And I'm going to leave that in the description box below. But anyway, I didn't get diagnosed till the end of July 2020, but I had symptoms as far back as 2018. <laughs> so I went on holiday to Sicily in summer 20, 2018. And when I got back to Gorno, so I was living in France at the time, when I got back to France, I was so incredibly hot, but then I thought it was just because it was summertime. Fast forward to 2019, I had a meltdown at the airport in Zurich. And all of those were signs of Graves' disease, the heat intolerance, the psychological disturbances. In fact, I had to leave France in a hurry at the end of 2019 because I thought I was losing my mind. And I just needed to be home, I needed to be around my family, and I needed to reset. And when I got home, of course, I continued to deteriorate. The heat intolerance got worse and I developed more symptoms of Graves' disease. By the time I got diagnosed, I, I think I had every symptom of Graves' disease except one. <laughs> and even when I saw, I didn't go to the doctor, even when I started to feel there was something going on with my heart. So when I started to experience the heart palpitations, I didn't go to the doctor um, I was so psychologically disturbed, you know, I thought it's probably because you're, 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 you have anxiety and depression and you're not sleeping. And you have to understand when you're not together up there, it's really hard for you to make good decisions. And I was very reclusive. So I, I shot my family out a lot. But even then, on two occasions, I did go to the doctor and I was misdiagnosed with malaria. And this is quite a common thing with thyroid conditions, misdiagnosis. So I have read about and encountered women who were misdiagnosed as having depression because they went to the doctor and they presented with fatigue and moodiness and irritability and appetite changes. And rather than investigating further, the doctor sent them home with antidepressants. And if you know anything about antidepressants, they're not, these are strong medications you don't want to have to take them if you don't need them and of course these women don't get better because they have a thyroid condition and not depression i've also read case studies and encountered um people who were misdiagnosed as having mental conditions such as schizophrenia as children because they were unruly and antisocial and they were given these strong medicines for years when in fact they had a thyroid condition so is it even possible to get your life back when you've been given the wrong treatment all these years? Okay, you've been given the wrong treatment since the age of, say, 12, and now you're almost 30. Is it is it possible to get your life back? There's a lot of suffering <laughs> that comes with misdiagnosis. And that's why, while I get the position that some doctors take, you know, some doctors are a bit cautious about smartwatches and they... they they urge us to remember that smartwatches can't replace your doctor. I mean, we know, we know smartwatches can't replace your doctor, but given 
the, the amount of misdiagnosis um, that occurs with thyroid diseases and the fact that thyroid diseases, they cause enough suffering as it is. If a smartwatch could help, I don't think that's a bad thing. In my case, if just like Lauren, if I'd had a smartwatch and I'd had um, heart rate notifications enabled and I'd noticed a rapid spike in my heart rate, I think I would have gone to the doctor for sure. And if I had presented that to the doctor, I think they would have, it would have um, nudged them in the right direction. And perhaps I would have started treatment a lot earlier and I would have been spared the suffering of deteriorating mentally and developing thyroid eye disease and just all the pain that I went through and my family went through. But um even now, it's definitely something I'm seriously considering because I'm getting more into exercise and as someone with gross disease, I do need to be quite careful with cardio exercises. So I think a smartwatch would be quite good just to see my cardio fitness levels while I'm working out. So it's something I'm considering. But yeah, um, this video has been a bit personal. I always find when I have to go back to the past and re relive difficult situations, it's always a bit harder. But I think it's it's important. It's important not to forget. And it's important to share experiences to help others, whether those experiences are good or bad. So thank you so, so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have a smartwatch? Are you considering getting one? Have you had um, positive or negative experiences with smartwatches? Are you living with a thyroid condition? Perhaps Graves' disease like myself, were you misdiagnosed? I'd love to hear your story. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always open. And you can send me a DM on Instagram at wellness underscore with underscore M. Bye for now. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.